Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at the stylized blender brush pack, which is more like a mega pack that you can get right now if you go over to the link in the description that will take you over to Blender Market or Gumroad. And this is a mega pack that consists of 550 plus blender brushes that you can work with, with over 4K of alpha textures directly inside. Now, this is made available by the folks at Zen Shaders and it's an amazing brush pack that you should definitely take a look at. Directly inside the brush pack you'll be able to have access to bolts and screws buttons cracks creature maker curves, some damage brushes some fold and wrinkle fore and hair metal rocks seams and also stitches so for those who like to get this link is going to be in the description where you can check these things out now with this said we're going to dive directly into blender and take a look at how this actually works now once you purchase these what you're going to be able to have access to is three different files now actually you get access to one file but two different folders which takes you over to the icons that are relative to the brushes that you'll be working with and then you'll be able to have access to textures which are actually the alphas that are 4k off resolution that you can play with so how does this work now for you to be able to use this all you need to do is click drag drop directly within your blender viewport and click on open this would bring you over to the sculpt room and within the sculpt room is where you can start testing out these brushes now we're just simply going to go all the way here and add a multi resolution so we can get some high details so i'm just going to set this one all the way to eight actually let's subdivide with this and subdivide one more time all right so let's set it to seven and see what we can get so with this one here what we can do is click on this button right here and we can take a look at the brushes and actually test them out so let's say for example we want to take a look at some of the cracks so we can click and drag and you can see that magnificent crack you can see how beautiful this is this is uh this is very beautiful let's also take a look at something else so i can click and take a look at the button so we have some good buttons right here so let's take a look at this stylized button and see and this looks very very nice very neat as well so for those who like buttons you know you want to add some buttons to your model you can definitely find these ones very very rewarding and we can actually take a look at some other ones so there is a creature set and this creature set comprises of uh, different tentacle looking kind of things and then you also have some scales so let's actually go ahead and take a look at this one and this looks good so for this one i guess you can simply draw through and you can see these things in its beauty so we can also draw through like this and this is very very lovely so for those who like to add things like scales on their model and you want to get good with this you will definitely find these ones very useful and i guess there are some other things like rocks so we also have some rocks here so you can click and get some of the rocks you also have some layered rock things so let's test out these layered ones so you can see this uh, cool stuff I mean, you can tell that these are high quality stuff. Despite the fact that the alphas that you're having are 4K, you also notice that the way that the brush handles these things look very, very nice. So we can also preview with some pebbles, some rock scattering. So depending on what you want, actually, this is, uh, this is going to be a huge time saver for your next project i mean if you're into sculpting or maybe you're into texture painting and you're looking for brushes that you can use in terms of alphas you would definitely find these ones very very useful so with this said we can also go ahead and take a look at some other things like we have the stitches as well this doesn't look bad so you can see very nicely done stylized stitching and we can also look at some other ones like this one all right so this doesn't look bad at all so just imagine how much things that you can do with this for both texturing i mean for those who want to have access to the alphas for both texturing and also for doing um some very cool sculpting this is definitely going to be very very useful and we can scroll all the way down to where we have some you know cross stuff like this like cross seams and you can also have this cross seams now for those who might be wondering all right now that we have this cross seams is there a way that we can simply have this you know happen all the way across maybe draw a simple line to get this happening yes you can so because you have access to this you can do a lot of things all right so we can go over to the stroke section and change this to a line and with this line if we draw all the way down you probably not notice any huge difference the reason is because within the stroke we didn't set the spacing so if you set the spacing just a bit you can get some very good results with that and you can see it's coming together so let's actually increase that about a significant value like that you know draw and now you can see this so in case you're feeling excited about this and you're wondering if this can actually work for your next project of course you can so you can use this or you can also choose to use some very nicely made curve you can use some drag dots some dots and so on and so forth 
So this is more like, you know, this is more like you're bringing the file in. Now, what about if you would like to test this in your own project? So let's say for example, right? Let's just simply go all the way back and get a brand new scene and see how this one would work if you're doing your project. So let's say you're working on a project, for example, like Suzanne, and we're just simply going to throw in that multi-resolution and uh, subdivide Suzanne a bit. Let's uh, crank this one all the way to six so that we can get something good and then jump over to the sculpt room. So one of the things that I would like us to take a look at is how you can work with this one. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to append the Blender file right here. And appending the Blender file is as simple as going over to File, go all the way to where we have Append and select that Blender file. Now once we select the Blender file, click on the word Append, it's going to ask you what and what do you want to append. So at this point we want to append the brushes and now you can append what brush you're looking for. So if you're looking for things like cracks, if you're looking for creature stuff, depending on what you want you can now select this. Now if we want to get everything we can simply just click on one, press A on the keyboard to select everything but if you have a couple you can click, hold down shift and click the last or you can simply hold down control to click and make some multiple selection. So depending on what you're going for you can do all of these things yourself so let's say these are the ones that we want we can now simply click on append and automatically those will be appended directly here in blender so once we have that if we click on this button here where we get to change the brushes you now notice that we have a couple of cool brushes right here and we can start working with it so for example let's say we want to add some of these things to susan so i'm just going to set this towards the x-axis and now we can start adding that let's undo that by one and increase the brush size just about something like that go all the way back and let's select this as well and now we can do this actually let's uh, move back one step and then set this thing back to the x-axis so at this point we can now simply click and drag and apply these things directly onto susan so depending on what we want you know and depending on what we're going for we can simply use this to stylize and add some very cool um, details onto the model so if you're into sculpting or maybe you're into texturing and you're looking for some amazing alphas that you can work with or probably you're looking for some very nice brushes that you can work with directly in blender then you can simply take a look at the link in the description and get good with it so the folks at zen shaders have actually done something pretty nice and of course i would like you guys to simply go over there and check these things out link to this is going to be in the description and also link to the gum road it's also going to be in the description where you guys will be able to take a look at the amazing things that they've created and also made available for everyone so this is more like it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace